Hi, my name is Max Santaloni. Welcome to this lesson. Today I'd like to share with you a really cool Steve Gadlick that I've really gotten a lot of mileage out of. And it's a, a really cool lick you can use in grooves and solos. And uh, so here it is. I'll just show you the sticking of it, okay? So the way it goes is you start with the bass drum. You go to the snare, hi-hat, snare, bass drum, and you play two notes on each drum. So it's pretty simple. So you just place your hands like you're going to play a beat, and it's two notes on each drum. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to start on the second note of the bass drum. So it's going to be like this. It's the exact same thing, just in the time, where it fits in, in, in time, it changes. So I'll just uh, play it with a click to show you where this beat fits in. And I'm going to play it as 16 notes. Okay, so four notes per beat. One, two, three. Okay, so that's it at 16 notes. This, the fill is really, or the lick is really in 30 second notes. So it's just double of that. So in 16 notes, there's four notes per beat. 30 second notes, there's eight notes per beat. So this lick is eight notes. So it fits in one beat in a, in a bar of music. So I'll just demonstrate that for you. I'll play at the same tempo I did, just it's going to be double time. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, the first time we play it, we're going to play it as we just played it. And the second time it comes around, on the second bass drum, we're going to replace that with a snare drum, with the right hand, an accent on the snare. Then the next time it comes around, we're going to play it with the bass drum again. Next time it comes around, snare. So we're going to alternate between kick and snare drum, giving you like a backbeat. So this is what it's going to sound like. So I'll just play that in a groove to give you an idea of where that fits in, okay? One, two, three, four. It's very important to make this this lick sound good you really have to get the dynamics right so the kick is pretty much accented playing loud the snare you're playing ghost notes on it and the hi-hat not too loud either and when you play the snare with your right hand you really crack it with the rim So for this lick, just practice it really slowly and really get the feel of it and the sound of it with the dynamics and then slowly, slowly you bring up the tempo. Okay, so now I'll just play the lick in a groove and again with this lick, once you have it down, then move it around with the time, you know, start it in different places, make it shorter, just, you know, uh, mess around with it. 